Okay, this particular lab is called mini lava lamps. Now, I'd like you to hold up your test tubes and look at them. And the first thing that I'd like you to do is describe the color. Annabella, what is the color of your liquid? It's clear, okay. Henry, is it transparent, translucent, or opaque? I think it's opaque. Opaque means you can't see through it. Oh, well. Translucent means it's kind of fuzzy, and transparent means it's real easy to see through it. I'm going to say translucent. Translu okay, I would agree with you. Okay, now, you have a little round thing. Go ahead and pick that up in your fingers. Is that a solid, a liquid, or a gas? Solid. Did I just describe a physical property or a chemical property? Physical. Physical, right. Okay, I'd like you to put it in the, uh, the oil. That's cooking oil. Drop it in there. And does it float on top or go, does it go to the bottom? It goes to the bottom. Okay, so it's more dense than the oil. Is that a physical property or a chemical property? Physical. Physical, it's heavier, okay. Is it dissolving in the oil, yes or no? Not really. Is the oil changing color? No. no. Does the oil appear to be bubbling or solidifying? No. No? So would you say that the tub tint reacts with the oil or does not react with the oil? It does not. Okay, so it's, in, it's insoluble in oil. That is a chemical property. Now you have a little cup of water. I would like you to fill your tube full. And the first thing is, is as you're pouring the water in the tube, I'd like you to decide if the water mixes with the oil if it floats on top of the oil or if it pushes the oil to the top of the tube. So go ahead and fill that, that tube with water. And where does the water go? Does it stay on top? Does it go to the bottom? Or does it mix? Mix. Uh, no, it goes to the bottom. They stay apart, but they go around each other. Goes, goes to the bottom. I would agree with you. Okay. Now, when it goes to the bottom, what does it come in contact with? Whoa! The tub tent, right? Now, when water and tub tints come in contact, what happens to the tub tint? Does it stay in one piece or does it dissolve? Dissolve. Dissolve. So is it reacting chemically with the water? Yes. Or is it just dissolving in the water? Dissolve. Just dissolving. Is that a physical change or a chemical change? Physical. Physical. Now, if you look very carefully, though, what do you see starting to form? Bubbles. Bubbles. Now, we started with a solid and we produce a gas. Is that a physical change or a chemical change? Chemical, chemical because we have a change of state. Mm -hmm. Are the bubbles more dense or less dense than the oil? Less, less. less dense. They're floating up. Is that a physical property or a chemical property? Physical. Physical, because it's describing what the bubbles are doing. Hensky. I'm not getting the big bubbles. I'm just getting a bunch of tiny things. Well, some people have more gas than others, Hensky. <laughs> It'll, what happens is when that solid dissolves in to the water, it produces sodium bicarbonate and citric acid. It's an acid and a base. When you mix the vinegar and the baking soda in the balloon, what did you produce, Annabella? Gas, right. And that's what's happening here. You mix that up. Now, when you have an excellent one, uh, if you'll point that over to, to Andre, because it looks like you have a whole bunch of grapes floating in the water there. Okay, so the bubbles go up, the bubbles go down. The reason that they fall down is because the gas bubbles that carries them to the top releases out of the top of the tube, and then they get heavier again because their water drops. Is water heavier than oil or lighter than oil? Heavier. heavier. Is that a physical property or a chemical property? Physical. Physical, very good.